on the Empire Sports Network. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay, buddy. And we're going to actually visit with Darcy again tomorrow mm -hmm. because we wanted to talk to him about the GM meetings and the rule right. changes and the things they're proposing. That'll be coming up Friday on Fan TV. We'll talk more hockey and go right back down to Fredonia State where we've been spending some time today. And we'll talk Fredonia State Blue Devils hockey. Jeff Meredith, their coach, Francois Albert, their leading goal scorer, both join us from Steel Hall. Gentlemen, nice to have you with us. Jeff, we'll start with you. It's been somewhat of a, a roller coaster ride. Uh, you guys are used to national rankings and 20 wins, but this has been kind of an up and down season for you. Has this been kind of frustrating? Well, we've been working to deal with it. Um, it, it isn't where we're used to being, but um, I think one of the things that's really helping us out along the way is that we're real young. We've got a young club and 20 freshmen and sophomores. So uh, I think every day is a learning experience. And right now we're really working on uh, hitting our peak at the right time. Francois, let me ask you uh, about uh, this season. Already uh, 38 points thus far. Uh, is this the season that you hope that you would have, uh, being that this is your final year? Definitely. I was hoping to have a good year this year since it's my last year. Uh, I want to leave with uh, you know, a decent uh, hockey college career. So uh, I'm, I'm happy with how it's going so far. Now, Francois is from New Brunswick in Canada. Now, you got, now tell me. How the heck in New Brunswick do you hear about Fredonia State College in upstate New York? Uh, I was recruited by Coach Meredith when I went to prep school in Lake Placid at Northwood School. So I, I, went, I came in a tournament here near Buffalo, and so Coach Meredith was there to, to recruit me. That's how I got to Fredonia. Jeff's a sneaky guy. He finds out about all those kind of guys. Jeff, how is recruiting uh, anyway? I'm sorry? Are you recruiting right now? How is that going along? Oh. We're, we're pretty excited about it. Right now, it, it's real difficult to put a lot of time into our recruiting. Uh, we've made you know, initial contact with people and had a, uh, a few athletes to uh, visit the campus. But right now, we're really putting our energies and efforts into uh, the Suniac run here and making the playoffs and uh, looking to try to gain some home ice for the first round of the playoffs. Talk a little bit about the keys. Uh, I mean, you've got a couple of goal scorers that are in double digits. But as you talk about making this run in the Suniacs and trying to finish with a strong kick, what are you looking for? You said you've been kind of playing with a few things uh, this season. What are you trying to find in these last few games you head towards the conference playoff? Well, right now, I think one of the, the key things that we're really trying to find is uh, getting uh, all of our offensive lines going on the same evening. We've had uh, some great success putting some combinations together. Francois plays with uh, Lucien Porcucci and Ron Keck, and uh, that's been our dominant number one line. And over the weekend, a uh, big win over Pot uh, Plattsburgh. We had uh, another line come up, but we've, we've got some lines right now that uh, we need to step up a little bit, and I think that'll really help get us over the hump in the playoff picture. And Jeff, you keep talking about getting over the hump and into the playoff picture. Do you really feel that if you get into that playoff picture, your team will really do some damage at that time? I do. I think, uh, I think well, this year, for the first time ever, six teams make the Suniac Conference playoff. Um, I think any of the six have the capabilities of beating any of the others. And it's a matter of getting hot at the right time. It's a matter of, uh, you know, all those things that go into a championship run, whether it's a, a bounce of a puck or a, a great power play. We've certainly got a goaltender in Kevin Stone that, you know, can take us uh, all the way. And it's just a, a matter of getting it all together on the same night. Jeff Meredith joined by Francois Albert. And Francois, you mentioned uh, that Jeff recruited you from Northwood Prep, and it is one of the top hockey programs out there. Some talent has certainly come out of there and, and gone on in college and had success. Do you see hockey after Fredonia? Had you always planned on hockey after Fredonia, or are you going to put the degree to work? Uh, I haven't really thought about that yet. So that's, gonna, that's a decision that I think I'm going to make after the, after the season. But uh, I'm definitely working on the degree right now. That's what I'm playing on. Where are my degree and then we'll decide. Okay, let's, me? yeah, let's talk about your academics. Uh, what's your major at this time and, and how are you doing? I'm a sports management major and uh, even though I'm French Canadian and uh, I've been here four years, it's going pretty well. Uh, I've adapted to the English part of it and so uh, it's, it's a good time. I'm doing pretty well. Francois, you say you know you adapted to the English part. Uh, do you ever have to kind of get on the uh, some of the guys because you know what? 
they're not really doing maybe what they should be doing in class and you say, hey, look, look what I went through in order to get my degree. You guys, this is easy stuff. Uh, <laughs> uh, not really. I think everybody, actually this year, uh, the team has a really good average. Everybody's doing well in their studies, so that, that's a positive for us. You talked about the uh, Sunyak and uh, your win over Plattsburgh. Just give us a little uh, kind of handicap the conference, if you will, as far as the top teams right now. Uh, I just think uh, Plattsburgh and Genesee and Oswego are all out there. They're just they're great teams. Um, but I think, uh, like Coach said, any any team has the ability to win it this year. Uh, it's just a matter of who shows up when. Uh, if we have four line goings, then you know it's a, it's not a problem. So uh, I, I'm really confident about this team this year. All right, fellas, uh, we're going to let you go here in just a little bit. Uh, just a final thought, if we can, uh, about the program itself. Uh, we've been talking a little bit, Jeff, about uh, recruiting, and you say, hey, listen, uh, it's going well, but we're really concentrating right now on on making the playoffs and then doing well in the playoffs. Do you use guys like? Francois, when you bring somebody onto campus, you, is, is this a guy that you would say, hey, listen, you're a high school kid. I want you to talk to a kid who's been here for several seasons and let him really kind of give you uh, the background on what we do here. Yeah, I think that's the big one of the big strengths of our recruiting is to bring the athletes to campus and uh, put them up with our current athletes. I feel that my athletes are our best recruiters for our program and that they're the ones that are going through the program and uh, I mean they're going to the classes and they're um, you know they're the ones that are playing the hockey so uh, a lot of times kids end up talking to a number of different college coaches and after a while they all start sounding the same but uh, if you actually put them up with the athletes they're the ones that really you know live the program and, and go to the classes and they can really in a lot of instances give the recruits insight that maybe the coaches can't give them. All right, Francois Hebert along with Jeff Meredith, the coach down at Fredonia State. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank, thank you. you very much. All right, we continue to roll right along. Uh, Howard stepped out for a minute just so we could bring in the bad boy of the Empire Sports Report. It is the one <laughs> the only Mike uh, DeGeorge. We're meeting little, tonight, uh, trust me. I know, yeah, <laughs> you're right. A little treat, a uh, little insight into what he's going to have on later tonight. Well, we're going to talk about uh, that big trade between the Sabres and Vancouver Canucks. We'll have... Faster. I'm a U.S. Marshal. Gary Busey. You're dismissed. Drop Zone. Rated R. Starts Friday, December 9th at theaters everywhere. What are you getting little Al for the holidays? He's growing by leaps and bounds. Remember his size this week? No? Better come into Radio Shack. We have hundreds of the gifts kids want most. And besides, with a gift from Radio Shack, there's no question. One size fits Al. Radio Shack. You've got questions, we've got answers. You have to look for that idea that excites you. For example, I started thinking, let's make food be fresher. As fresh as it used to be when I was a kid. What we're working on will allow food processors to track the food as it moves along. Such a machine is in our future. DuPont allows its people the freedom to go after hunches. The idea simmers, the idea percolates fresh food. There's nothing artificial about a moment of inspiration. Sports Center is brought to you by DuPont. Better things for better living. And by Radio Shack. You've got questions, we've got answers. Welcome back. It works in theater. It works in basketball as well. If you're going to leave the stage...